What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are back with Soul Hackers 2. My name is AJ Gels, the Sunday Gaming Channel. We are going to be picking up with the main story. Let's see here. All our characters. I um, gave them a small little upgrade with their um, accessories. Now, something I found interesting about these is they have their defense. Well, okay, this one actually, this one stays at 16, but uh, the samurai scarf and the student's hat, these two that I got for DLC that I have equipped to uh, Melody and Arrow, they actually change how much uh, extra defense they give uh, with Ringo's level. So they actually kind of level up with you. I found that interesting. I mean, they are DLC things, so... And if anybody's wondering, yeah, there's a whole bunch of, you know, Persona. You know, Persona references. And whatnot. Other SMT games. A bunch of reference to those and all the different outfits. Um, there's one other thing I thought I wanted to say <clears throat> before we really hop in. Oh! That's right. I... <laughs> Um, there was a free piece of DLC, if you could call it that. It's an item pack with that had just some recovery items that also gives you extra hard mode, so it has an extra difficulty. Makes me scratch my head and ask the question, why have almost a day one DLC because this was available yesterday when the game came out. Why have a day one DLC that has an extra difficulty? The bar up the stairs is Hydra. Hope this size of guys in today. Okay. Uh, Shinsando is a trendy commercial hotspot full of Vogue uh, boutiques and classy cafes. You can buy accessories at Zafiro or visit bar Hadron, a local nightlife favorite where all kinds of people and rumors can be found. I mean, look, I I'm not a guy who's like, oh, day one DLC, but um, I don't know. When you're having a day one difficulty patch, that's weird to me. And also, oh, that's nice. The You see the... um. Uh, I don't know what to call that thing. Zafiro, huh? Looks like an accessories boutique. Oh, a customer? I'm Mannequin. Might as well save you the breath. First of course you are. always beg to know my name. But I can hardly blame them. I mean, look at me. Uh, sure. Well, browse at your leisure. It's only humans who want the finest glamour money can buy. But don't take it too hard when you realize you'll never reach my level. Oh, God, I'm gorgeous. This guy can't get enough of himself. Can he even see us? Does he even know he's running a shop? It's almost impressive. What? No, impossible, inconceivable. Whoa, uh, what's up? I see now. You're not human, are you? Huh. Why do you say that? Well, there certainly can't be a human more beautiful than me in this world. Oh. Uh, thanks? I won't settle for second best. Okay. Uh, buy accessories, accessories, boost, defense, yada, 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 yada. Okay. But no, uh, I was saying, I, I liked that, um that signpost that gave the directions. It's just a nice little cosmetic way to be able to tell what's uh, what's where. And of course, all this stuff doesn't really help us right now because I have see DLC it. items that are better. But yeah, see, you can you can kind of tell where you're supposed to go using, using that. It, it's just nice in-world sort of uh, direction giving. But no, the point I was trying to make earlier is if you're going to have like a DLC, I don't know, difficulty drop on day one, that's just weird. Put it in the game. I mean, like I said, it was free DLC, so meh. Who cares? It's just weird that you make it DLC. Ah, there's a new face in town. 
Name's Hughes. I own the place. Hughes, huh? I'll remember that. What can I get you? Never hurts to start with something easy like a white ale or the like. Sorry, but we're actually looking for someone. His name's Saizo. You haven't seen him, have you? Saizo? He was here not too long ago, but I think he left for work. You might catch him over in Karakucho. That's where he runs his day-to-day. -day. We'll need to hurry. Thanks for the wreck. I'll save it for next time. I know I'm trying to see if there's like a sprint while I'm navigating the map. Okay, so we can go straight to Zafiro, we can go straight to the bar. Karakacho is a place we have not been. Thank you, game, for telling us how to equip demons. I think you see Black Frost up there. <laughs> He's so cute. Over here. Yeah, I know I can purchase them, but I still I, I sometime I need to get myself a Jack Frost plushie. Uh, Karakacho's haven of indulgence and uh, commercialism. Here you'll find Club Cretaceous, where summoners can find private jobs, and De La Mancha, a superstore chock full of items. Uh, Club Cretaceous, in particular, will be a vital resource, uh, since that's where you can find requests seeking the help of devil summoners. You can earn a number of rewards by completing them, so it's recommended to balance your progression in the story with handling some requests now and then. Hello there. Well, aren't you polite? My name is Yume. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. What do you sell here? Anything and everything. It's what sets our store apart from just about everywhere else. I know it's a little noisy in here, but by all means, take a look around. Welcome! Alright, so, yep, healing items, items to throw at shit. Alright. Thank you! I like that music. De La Mancha, that. And Cretaceous. So, this is what they call a club. Okay, this art is. Really disorienting. I dig it, but wow, it hurt my eyes for a second. Well, from the looks of you, I take it you live on our side of the world. Huh? Sorry for surprising you, stranger. The pleasure's all mine. I'm Ginko, Madam Ginko, to some of our summoner regulars. Nice to meet you, Madam Ginko. I'm Ringo, but I'm not exactly a summoner. What do you mean, your side of the world? Here at Club Cretaceous, we provide certain specialty services to the people of the city. More specifically, we put clients in contact with summoners for private contracts. So you're a fixer. Really now? Essentially. Sounds like this place is good for more than the nightlife. So if I drop by, I can hear about some local problems that need a summoner's skills? That's what you're saying? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Why tell me about this? Sounds like you want me in on these jobs got something you want me to do? I'm sure I will soon enough. Saving the world is certainly a noble cause, but there are times when you must narrow your scope and hear the smaller voices. All I'd ask is that you help the people who need it. That's the true calling of a devil summoner, after all. Sounds fun. Might help me get the information I need, too. 
good to see you. All right, clients in need of summoners will send requests to Club Cretaceous, the domain of Madame Ginko. Uh, here you may uh, accept requests and hear Madame Ginko's briefings before you set off. Clients will have icons above their heads indicating the current status of their request. Keep track of these and get a quick uh, sense of your next move. See, I like how if you look around, you can actually, uh, the statues in the background, it took me a second to notice it, but they're all uh, different, I guess in this game, demons is the proper term. I mean, there's a Nekomata over there. Um, oh, gosh, uh, I, I can't remember this one over here on the right side. I can't remember who he is, and I always forget the name of this this floating chick here with the hat and the cape. I forget the name of that. Uh, I'm going to keep saying Persona, and I know that's not correct in this game. Um, I believe there's one of those, like, uh, floating fox paper dudes. Uh, Iza... It's something like Uza, Iza, something Nagi. I can't remember exactly. So, Mokoi. I want to say the raven one over here was a Yatagarasu. I, again, I could be wrong, but I believe explain. that's what it is. Uh, perhaps you've seen the store De La Mancha on the street. Our client is in request... Uh, for this request, works there, a girl named Yume. Even I've shopped there on occasion. We've talked enough that I know uh, something of her troubles. A short while ago, she lost something of great importance to her. It's left her in clear distress. I did some inquiring myself after some that. I say some confidence that a demon is responsible for this. Consider this request placed on my behalf as well as hers. I'd be grateful if you could help. Okay, client Yume, Karakacho, uh, ideal level is six, and ooh, we get new items at, uh, the, uh, at the shop, that's cool. The client uh, for that request works at the host club in Karakacho. Typical civilians don't get to have any involvement in our business, but it does help every now and then. Uh, it would seem the client is caught up in a rather uh, rather peculiar fate and is therefore unsure of how to proceed. Your task this time around is to simply find someone. Very basic, yes, but it's an ideal warm-up nonetheless. I humbly ask this of you. Best of luck, your client will be waiting for you in Karakacho. You okay. I bid you good luck. Okay, this one's from Yume. Let's go see what's up. Well, I mean, we've got these unlocked. Might as well... Are you serious? Hey, you're the one Madame Ginko sent. I'm your client, Teruya. Wow, so the rumors were true. Oh, uh, what well, luck. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking for a girl. She came to our club about a month ago. She was so beautiful. I'm telling you, it was love at first sight. We're talking the real deal here. But she hasn't come by since. If I don't get this love letter to her, then it's nothing more than a scrap of paper. Please, you've got to find her and give her this letter for me. Any details? Let me think. Well, I know her name's Chris, and I've heard she works near the shipping district. At least I think she does. I'm actually not all too sure what her job is. Salmon runner or some earner or something like that. Okay. If anybody's gonna ask, yeah, I'm probably gonna do these these side missions Welcome. on camera. Ah, <sighs> uh, oh, can I help you, Miss? Huh? Miss Ginko sent you. Ah, geez, she didn't have to do all that just for me. Still, I'd be glad to help. Can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs, I guess. The truth is, I lost some Frost Diver superhero merch near the shipping district. Uh, you don't know what Frost Diver is? No way. Is some live-action superhero show. It's huge. Airs every Saturday morning. See, he's this ancient warrior frozen in ice 20,000 years ago. Except global warming thawed him out, and now he's a hero of justice, secretly protecting Earth. Uh, he's Frost Diver, the Glacial Guardian. I mean, uh, just so we're clear, it's my little brother who's into it, not me. Anyway, so I, well, my brother, he was playing around with superhero merch, pretending to be Frost Diver. 
Uh, about one second was there, next it was gone. I think someone might have stolen it, but it doesn't make sense. The East, shopping, uh, the East Shipping District excuse me, is off limits and nobody else was around. Ugh, I don't get it. Still, I shouldn't be unloading all of this on a customer. I'm not, uh, it's not like it'll change anything. So yeah, like I was saying, I, I really dig this game. So I'm going to be doing side missions and everything. That's my plan. I'm, but I'm trying to think how exactly I'm going to do it. Because if it requires me running around the dungeons and everything, I think I will cut out the just grinding and running around. Similar to what I do in Persona 5. If when there's actual dialogue and talking to be done, then you will, and fighting and whatnot, I'll pop back in. So I think that's how we'll do it. Uh, I'm Frost Ichido, the eldest of the Jack Frost brothers. God damn it, I want, I, I want Jack Frost dolls. Uh, they're so cute. When you know ho, when you know ho it, I got some dehemons. Uh, I need you to take care of ho, pretty please. You wouldn't have been a snowman in need, would you ho? You really me he and it. Uh, thanks a lot, Ho. My brothers and I are looking for a new he home, somewhere we can live in peace, Ho. I'm thinking the see he side warehouse ought to do it, nice and quiet. But there's just one problem. My little bro, uh, Frost Jiro, is allergic to spiders. He can't even get close to him, Ho. And with all the Suchigumo nearby, little bro can't. Uh, never live he here no whole way. God, it's so hard to read this, these guys. Please he has uh, summoner help us get rid of these pesky Suchigumos. The place probably probable he be a lot safer if you defeat five or so ho. Uh, we're attempting to use summoner ho. You call me a ho? Uh, I think that's, I think them's fighting words. Uh, some requests require you to defeat demons roaming around. Yada 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 yada. Okay. And uh, defeat a certain number, I think I'm just going to, you know, do off camera. Really, who cares? Of course, I find her right away. Uh, hmm, can I help you? Yeah, I'm Chris. Are you a summoner too? Host club? Yeah, I went once. I got invited by a friend. Was more or less just a bunch of pointless chit-chat, though. Though it was kind of boring. Huh, Teruya, a love letter. Oh, you mean that loudmouth hey. kid? Wait, you really came all this way just to deliver this? I see. Well, sorry to waste your time, but I can't accept it. Mind passing on a little message for me instead? Tell him he's playing with fire, get involved, and he'll only get burned. All right, let's see here. Specific elimination targets. In some requests, speaking to specific people or demons will launch you into battle. Such individuals will be marked with the icon above their head. Make sure you're ready for a fight before you confront them. All right, let's do it. The demon holding something, it looks like superhero merch that you may lost. Huh, who are you? You got a problem with me? Look, I'm in a bad mood right now. Like, really super bad. Excuse me. Uh, I tried to copy that lady. I did the poses. I yelled the... <laughs> it was the lady, not her brother. <laughs> I yelled the transformation word. Said it with the morphing time. Or said it was morphing time. But nothing happened. I looked the same. Uh, yeah, let's kick the shit out of this thing. Little onion demons. Yeah, good plan. Hope this works. Here goes. All right, not weak to wind. Let's go. I hate. I hope this works. Silent as snowfall. But you are weak to that. Still with me? And there's no point in using. Fire skills when they're just gonna block them. Nice wasted effort. We gotta win this. I got this. No matter what. Can you handle this? <laughs> what do you think? Right. Looks promising. Go, Arrow. We can freeze you where you stand. 
worked. And that's Let's finish this. Get lost. Too late for regrets now. And it's still alive. Haha, <laughs> you suck. What are you thinking? Probably wouldn't have done it if we were not playing on normal difficulty. If we were playing on a harder difficulty, it would probably attack somebody else. But, and we're playing on this difficulty. Got the superhero merge. You should return to Yume. Okay, so we're almost done. I just have to uh, kill the Suche Gumo for the Jack Frost guy. So, I will get on that. Online. Let's roll. <laughs> Wide open. Let's see how. Let's finish this. How about burning hell? That's just sad. Guess you are pretty good, huh? Okay. So you don't miss On now. Worked. Out of my way. So nerve. I was just getting started. Well, Jack, what do you got for me? Oh, I'm sorry. Frost Ichiro. Maybe I should get your name right. Uh, you defeated five Suchigumo. Amazing. Amazing. Ho. Uh, thank you. Ho. You obtained Lourdes water. All right, and then. Now, even my little he bro uh, has a place to call home. He's going to love it. All righty, then. Oh, that was cute. Before we continue, though, I'm going to hit up the safe house. I don't know. I mean, maybe we're not all going to end up with a covenant, but I still feel like that's a really good... Just with the fact that there's five in the main cast. There's going to be Saizo, Milady, or Milady, sorry, Arrow, Ringo... And Fig, Fig, whatever the hell her name is. Although I, I don't think Fig is going to be part of our like battle team. I think our battle team is just going to be the four. It's going to be Saizo, Arrow, Milady, and Ringo. You know, it's going to be a, one of those small party kind of games. I mean, hell, you can even see Saizo way back in the uh, in the background there. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna you know be part of us. And I mean, he has to die and lose his covenant for us to you know revive him with the soul hack and everything. Uh, is this what I think it is? Hand over the merch. Wow, wow. Uh, I can't believe you actually found it. Uh, really, I can't. Uh, I've actually got five younger brothers. I first started working part-time here to help the family. Blah, blah, blah. Superhero merch. So I would have broken my heart to tell them. Thanks for helping me. You saved the whole day. And new items are in stock. Awesome. I'll make it worth your what was I? What was I saying? Um, right. I mean, he has to die. So that we can get, um, so that we can revive him with soul hack, but so he has to lose his covenant. But I mean, is it possible that he gains another you? covenant down the line? I, I don't know. I, I just think it's too clean that we have five members of our party. You, there are five covenants. Um, we're trying to save the world. If we all end up. If we can collect all five covenants, then we can summon the Great One or whatever to make a wish. We can, you know, summon Shenron with the Dragon Balls, etc. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I I, I think I think it just lines up too well. Oh, Aeon directives, interesting. All right, so it looks like we've got all the requests we can do for right now like this pizza robot sorry I was just kind of seeing if there's anything else 
kind of cool going on around here. Is he already dead? God damn it. Although I like how his summoning gun is a Tommy. That's pretty awesome. We're too late. Again? Not the cleanest way to go out. So, where does that leave us? Are we already at a dead end? Not much choice. All we can do is soul hack it. Is that really an option? Fig's not going to be happy. Hey, you said it yourself. Sometimes we've just got to follow our instincts. Someone was after Saizo's Covenant, and we need to find out who. Our whole mission's riding on this lead, and I'm not just going to sit back and lose it. No time to waste. I'm going to give it a shot, so watch my back. Protection set to partial. Spell sequence, soul hack. Systems are go. Peace, miss. Thank you. Behind all the smooth talk and one-liners. Ooh, tough one. Would you believe I've got a burning ambition to be a comedian someday? <laughs> I like the sharp teeth. the Grim Reaper would be this cute. <laughs> I'm not a Reaper man. Not even that grim. Actually, I'm the opposite. My name's Ringo. I'm an agent of Ion. I'm trying to stop the end of the world. I came here to bring you back. So you're telling me this smooth-talking sweetheart who's out to save the whole world set some time aside just for little old me? You got it. What do you think, Saizo? Your story doesn't really end here, right? You've got some unfinished business. Damn right I do. I never got a chance to talk to her. We'll never have a real ending until I fix that. Okay, then I'll give you that second chance. 
Take my hand, Saizo. Does this feel like... I don't know, just... Why not? I summon demons for a living anyway. I can handle a deal with the Grim Reaper. I said I'm not the Grim Reaper! It, like, does it feel like we're speedrunning this one? Anyone? Just... Although, I, I I don't know. From the, the past sections of Saizo, I guess he looks a little more lighthearted, a little more kind of does things on impulse. So I guess it makes a little bit more sense that he'd just kind of go, yeah, all right. Huh. It actually worked. Go figure. No way. You know, I've been a summoner for a while now, but I gotta say, feeling a little out of my depth here. This is something totally different from summoning. It's the power of Ion. And Ion would be your boss, huh? Well, none of my business. Glad I don't have to over-explain anything. Hey, I focus on the bright side. I'm here and I'm alive. That's enough for me. Yeah, okay. So given that personality, I guess it does kind of make sense that they just kind of go, okay, let's let's move this along. He's kind of someone who doesn't get hung up on the details, just kind of the broad strokes of, no, oh, okay, whatever, I'm alive, I'll, I'll take it. I respect that. I see Melody and, uh, mm, sorry, I'm drawing a blank. Tarot, or something. It's Arrow. Aren't you both summoners for Phantom? What's the deal with killing me and then bringing me back to life? I mean, let's be real. I'm not worth that much trouble. Well, it's complicated. A spy and a traitor, huh? I see. Sounds like you guys got a lot on your plates. For now, just consider us independents. We're not aligned with any one organization. Gotcha. Probably more convenient that way for me, too. Sorry to get straight to business, but was your covenant taken by a guy in a mask? He was there, yeah, but he wasn't the one who took it. That'd be his freaky bodyguard. Zenin, huh? Don't know much about this Covenant stuff, but I take it that's what you guys are chasing? Among other things. I'd say it's fair to assume Iron Mask now bears three Covenants. So you guys already know it was the Phantom Society that wiped me out, huh? Well, we were kind of hoping to get to you before you got killed. My bad, I guess. It came out of nowhere. Look, forget that. Any of you see a summoner lady around? Gorgeous, got one of those always tired faces, looks great in black. I saw a girl in that soul hat right before he died. Is that who he's talking about? Sorry, but we didn't see anyone else around. Ugh. Those bastards used Ash to get to me. They knew what they were doing. Well, if you're after the Phantom Society, how about coming with us? I'm in. No hesitation, huh? I owe Phantom a little payback, you see. So I'll tag along. At least until I can catch that check. Sounds good to me. You guys alright with that? Sure. We need all the help we can get. No objections here, either. Uh, we should probably head back to the safe house. Review what we know, huh? Whoa, you okay? What's going on? Fig, can you take a look? Tracing. Mental abnormality detected. I'm seeing an unknown disruption of your brainwaves. Ringo, did you soul hack again? Uh, Maybe. Yeah, sorry. Go on. Get the complaining out of the way. Hey, wake up! Ringo! Hey, uh, what's the plan here? Do we take her to a hospital? We don't want that many eyes on us. Let's get her back to the safe house. Fig? Ringo is awake, everyone! Oh, yeah. I got all dizzy and passed out. Yes. 
And then we immediately brought you back here. Sheesh. You really freaked me out back there. I guess even Ion can go weak in the knees, huh? I didn't think you'd be able to pass out either, actually. So you had me worried, too. Are you all right now? <laughs> Sorry about that. Looks like I gave you all a good scare. I'm guessing since I have a physical body right now, it's only natural that I'd feel unwell once in a while. Okay, now that we're back here in the safe house, I'm going to do what I did last time and overanalyze something. This extra chair is bugging me. It makes me think that there might be one more person, maybe not to the battle party, because again, I think that's going to be Ringo, Saizo, and those four. Uh, with, uh, I keep trying to say Fig, with Fig uh, kind of being our Morgana or your, you know... Um, Intel person, but just the extra chair makes me think there's gonna be one little extra person to this group Flamma wants to talk to you about what happened. She might know something more. Flamma wants you to meet her at the Axis She said to bring the other summoners with you What? Taking everyone to the Axis? Is that really gonna be okay? Under normal circumstances? I think not But considering the urgency, it might be a necessary evil Got it. Then I guess that's where we're headed. Hold on. She also said that everyone should be prepared to fight. The heck? What's that about? What, are we gonna fight in the Axis or something? I don't know myself. Flamma. The Axis. Sounds like we'll just have to go see for ourselves. You're probably right. Well, time for a little trip, gang. Look, that's fine. But are you sure you're up for it? Yep. Couldn't be better. I hate to be a pest, but if there's gonna be a fight, mind if we stop by Monse Realm first? I got a few things I gotta take care of. He's got a point. It'll be a good place to prepare, especially knowing we're going into a dicey situation. I'm sorry, Ringo, but I must ask you to go on without me. I have matters of my own to attend to. Yeah, sure thing. All right, we'll all meet up at Monse Realm. All right, Saizo has joined our party. You can now navigate the Monsai Realm. I'm very curious as to what this place is. And let's see real quick what our boy here is. Use his fox fur again. Let's give him a fancy little... Ready to go. Yeah, sure. There you go. He gets a little extra dodge. His demon hair of Inaba. Okay, I've never seen this uh, demon persona, whatever. Known in Japanese as Inaba no Shirosagi, this clever rabbit written about in the Koji... Kojiki? Eh, is worshipped as a hair of god, yada yada yada. Okay, pause and read if you'd like. He's so cute. Okay, so he has electric skills, which is good, because that means I can keep Dormarth on... Um, on Ringo, and actually Saizo, of course his Tommy gun doesn't have anything on electric, so he can't, um, equip that, uh, boost to his electric attacks. Fantastic. Uh, guys, I think we're going to close out here for this one. I still have some other work I got to get done, uh, just so my uploads for today are all set before I dive back in to this and some other games. So, uh, excuse the short part or the part that was mostly focused on some side stuff, but exploring the world and whatnot, that's important. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So thanks for watching guys. And until next time, I'm out.